one of them songs you know I did uh, snow blind and everyone's like hey what about New York Goose yeah gotta learn that so um, as always when I research my lessons um, I looked online at the hello version there's a band out of New York called hello who wrote this originally and ace covers it ace does the cover pretty much 95 percent just like the band does um, Hello's version starts out more with a wah-wah and hitting that E note almost in a uh, voodoo child. But the chords and things that they do, uh, Ace really picked up on and expounded on, really. So there's some great dyad licks, two string licks, that will go over all the licks together. Um, we'll go over the rhythm. It's not real difficult, but again, it's it's how it's played. So we're tuned to E flat per normal kiss, Ace Freely. Um, the intro has a flanger, so I got it at a medium um, flange, if you will. So it's not real fast, but it's not real slow either. Um, Anyhow, and it's a really cheap, I think it's a $20 flanger I got off of uh, Amazon. So anyhow, it does a job. It's all that matters, right? All right. So um, I've written this out, my notes. Right below the video, you'll see my notes tab and a link. Click on that, and you can click on the download icon on the top right, and you'll have my notes because I wrote all this out. You know, I, I looked at the tab, some things are right, uh, some things are wrong, but you know, it's you take it with a grain of salt and you listen to the song and work through it. So, all right, enough of that said, let's, uh, I'm not even gonna turn on the flanger. So we're gonna start out here at the seventh fret of the fifth string. All right, we're gonna hit it, a dead note, Hit it again, dead note. So it's a back down, or I should say down up. And then we're going to hit it, and then two dead notes. So we have this so far. And then two notes. And then two dead notes. So that is the rhythm of it, and including when we go to chording. So it's all right so we do that a total of six times in the intro after the first two times and that's with the flanger on after the first two times, the first lick comes in. Um, I'm going to go over all the licks at the end. It's your basic first and second string at the 12th fret. We'll go over all of those at the end. Um, 
All right, so we go through with the flanger in seven, which the flanger does continue on. You know, there's overdub guitars in this. So um, the flanger does move on, but the main chord of the guitar has the flanger off. And we're going to play an E just like we did with the seven note. All right, so it's more of a... So that is the rhythm. We'll do the E chord once the verse starts. We'll do that for three uh, counts, if you will. One. Two. Three. Then we just switch to B. So move everything up. You can use the fourth string if you like. I wrote it in there. Ace does if you watch him play this live. Alright, I went one too far. We only do that one time through on the B at this point in the very first measure of the verse. So three counts on the E, one on the B. Then we move to an A chord. All right. Even though we're tuned down, I'm speaking to these as normal tuned. All right. So with the A chord, we're going to do that two times through. Then one more time on the E. And then back to B. So that ends the verse. Yeah, but when we're in the pre-chorus, we just stay on the E for four times. All right, and three more. That would be the pre-chorus. Then we're into the chorus. The chorus, it's basically E, A, and B. Um, a lot of people will play the E and slide right down and off. But... I really listen to it and the guitar is more sliding when he, it's like falling into the A. So we're going to go back. He just slides down and then you catch the A. So the A is three distinct hits. And then we move to the B with one hit. Muted and another hit. So we have this so far. One, two, three, four. All right, that repeats three times. All right, and then we're into. The next uh, is really, it's a key change. So he's playing or starting the rhythm in E. We're going to do it two times through. Then we're going to move it up from the 7 and 9 to 8 and 10. So we're moving up to F. So there's two sets of E and then two sets of F. Okay, so verse two, we've changed keys. Now we're F, C, and B flat. All right, so we'll do three. We've hit the two sets to change keys. Now we're into verse two, which will be just like the, the structure is the same. Three sets of the F. <laughs> Then move to C, then to F flat, or I'm sorry, B flat, and we'll do that two counts. And then back to our F, and then B. Alright, so the pre-chorus is the same, we'll do four sets of the F, 
And the chorus, again, because we're now F, it will be F. Alright, one more time, you have the chorus. Then we do another pre-chorus, I'm calling this pre-chorus 3 in my notes. It's only two times through, because then they go into the chorus outro. Alright, that is the outro, the F to the B flat to the C. So that will take you out of the song. It goes for two full measures, another quarter measure, and just starts fading out. So that is all of the rhythm. All right, let's go into the licks. So like I said, as the intro comes in with the guitar, after two sets of the nine, you'll hear this. Just great licks. And what we're playing is the first and second string at 12, down, up, down, and slide off. We do that a total of four times. All right, after the fourth time, you'll hear this lick. So what we're doing is we're covering the third and second string at 15. We'll hit those two notes, hammer into 16, then move it to 14 on the 3rd and 2nd string. The 16 you're hammering in is on the 3rd string, I should have mentioned that. Then we just move it back to 12 and hammer in on the 3rd string to 13. So together, slowly, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, now we're into, again, the rest of the rhythm and then they start the verse. Now, when they're in the verse, the first lick you'll hear comes in, and I've written this out in my notes, the actual words and when it comes in. So in the verse, he'll say, here I am. Right after he says, I am, he'll say, in the city. But just after he finishes saying, here I am, you start this lick. So we're doing a down, up, down on the ninth fret of the third and second string, and then a down, up. Then we add our pinky down on the tenth fret while hitting nine on the third. Then come back to the seventh fret on the third and second, back to nine on the third and second. He'll say another, start another verse, and then he'll go, and baby, as soon as he says baby, you better believe, but at the beginning of baby, we're going to repeat this lick. All right, so that, it's again, it's a really nice little dyad lick. Um, to me, it sounds familiar to another kind of song, but I can't really put my finger on what it is. Not necessarily a rock song, but... Anyhow, so now we come up to the key change. So he's doing the E for two counts of the chord, and then he'll move to F. So when he does that, we're going to hit, when he's on the E, the first time through, we'll just hit the 12 fret of the second and first string. We're not going to do a down, up, down. It's just one hit and slide off. And then again, now he changes keys. He goes to F. So we're going to go to F. We're going to play at the um, 13th fret. And one more time. All right. So now he's into the second verse. After um, we change keys, basically everything's moved up. One half step, all right? But he's going to do this lick when he says, in the back of my Cadillac. 
really, really cool lick. So we're at the 13th fret, 2nd and 3rd string. We're going to hammer into 14 on the 3rd string. Come to 15, hit that once, and then back to 13 with hammered into 14 on the 3rd. Then we move up real quickly to 16, hammering into the 17th fret of the 3rd string, then 15, and then 12, hammered into uh, thir uh, I'm sorry, 13 hammered into 14. So we're doing the same beginning lick, but we've added this to it. All right, and moved it up because we're in a different key. So again, slowly, one, two, three, four. So, slick ass slick. So now as verse 2 continues, we're going to do basically a very similar lick we did up here at 9, but again, move it up a half step. So he'll say, I feel good tonight. So, or I feel so good tonight. After he ends so is when we start it. So we'll hit 10, down, up, down, and then down, up. And then we'll add 11 to the second string and then come back to the 12th string, or I'm sorry, the third and second string at 8 and back to 10. Alright, feels so good tonight. So baby will be the next time it comes in. As soon as he says baby. It's really, you You got to listen to the song and get right when it comes in, because otherwise you're behind. Cool lick though, cool, cool lick. So now we're to the outro and we'll go over those licks. Okay, so during the chorus that goes out, we'll hear two sets of 13 slid down in the first and second string. Then you'll hear this like. So basically we're at the 8th fret on the 3rd and 2nd string, hammering into 9 on the 3rd string twice. Then catching 10. And he doesn't really slide off, but you... So he'll do that a total of three times as we go through the outro. Now the next set of licks, which he does also three times, just adds, like we did up here, a little extra lick. So what we're doing, we're at the 6th fret. We're going to hammer in to 7, hit the 8th fret, 1st and 2nd string, come back to 6, hammered into 7, and then do the 8th lick. So we have this, one, two, three, four. He does that three times, and then we start to almost fade out. We've got two, really, two sets of this as he starts fading out. And it's a little bit longer lick that starts throughout the outro, the chorus, as you will. So it'll sound like this. So what he's doing there is, just like we're doing at 6, we're going to move that up to 13 and 14 and catch 15. Then we're going to just stay there and do a similar lick that we do at 8. But we'll catch 15 on the 5th um, string. Then we move back and do the 6, and then the 8. Alright, so all together, slowly. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you'll hear that one other time 
And again, it's fading out. You might do it one more time as the fade goes out, but it goes out pretty quickly at that point. So really, that uh, that's all the licks of the song. Just well done. Listen to the original. It's, it's cool to go back. I'm going to put a link to that below the video also, so um, you can go to that and check it out. So enjoy, everybody.